Welcome back to Bayona's RC World. It is December 4th, 2021. And what a way to wake up for the day. All right. I woke up because USPS arrived at my doorstep with this particular package. All right. So this particular box, it was sent all the way from Pennsylvania. An awesome gentleman by the name of Frank Washburn. I will leave all his information in the description below he's also on YouTube he has his own YouTube channel all right it's basically Frank's model aviation workshop you can go ahead and check out that link in the description click on that go check out his channel go show him some love all right because he is just another true hobbyist who's been in this hobby for a long time as well all right it's just he's, he's just getting into the uh, the YouTube realm right getting into the scheme of things and doing his own videos which is just plain awesome go give him a shout out there go check out his channel because this particular person for somebody to do exactly what he did for somebody who he does not really know it's just it just shows the kind of character the kind of person he really is all right i just i'm just speechless guys because he shipped this kit all the way from Pennsylvania to this guy all the way in this small little island, this small Pacific island of Guam. Uh, without no strings attached, he's not asking for anything in return. That is just very rare. All right, I am going to uh, do as much as I can and I'm going to do this build justice. All right. This has a lot of potential for scale realism. And uh, this will probably be the first um, uh, true scale warbird that I probably put a lot of emphasis on. All right. I mean, I built other warbirds before, but uh, nothing to this caliber, all right, to this, this size. Uh, like I said, check out this channel, Frank's Model Aviation Workshop. And just like I said, show him some love, man, because. He didn't have to do this. It's just plain awesome. Very rare to find that today in today's society. So I'm honored, man. So without further ado, let's get cracking into this box and see exactly what he shipped me. All right. This is going to be exciting, guys. All right. kit that he shipped me the top flight p40e warhawk all right this is the uh 60 size all right 64 inch wingspan awesome awesome stuff all right, right there's the specs of the kit this is the uh goat edition all right so Let's get into the box. All right, get into this box real quick. Just make sure everything is uh, good to go, rock and roll. All right, so we got the uh, included instruction manual. All right, your typical top flight manual. I mean, you just can't beat it. All right, you got a, a complete, what, 55 pages in here. Not bad at all. And uh, normally, most of you know, have been in this hobby for a while, once you start unpacking a kit, most of the time we can never get it to go back into the box. All right, so we're not really going to take everything out. We're just going to go into the stuff that's basically on top. Um, it's really not much to see. It's just a box of wood, to be honest. All right. 
So let me go ahead and uh, bring you up there. All right, so this is basically the kit inside. All right, pristine condition. You gotta, you gotta remember guys that this top flight kits, uh, they stopped production many years ago. So these kits that you see today that people own are, they've been, they've been around, right? They've been in their storage. They've been in their uh, their their workshop, sitting for the day that they they are going to build the kit. And some basically would have like one uh, or or like like two or three of these kits, sometimes four, uh, as backup. All right. If we all had known where most of these uh, kit manufacturers were gonna go in the future, uh, most of us would have snagged up a. Uh, a whole bunch of kits back in those days because these kits were going for like under three hundred dollars being sold through like, like uh tower hobbies and and other uh online stores right so uh tower hobbies was one of the main ones that were selling all the top like kits and arfs so if we had known or if i had known that they would be basically in the future shutting down uh I would have snagged up a whole bunch of kits at that time at those prices. Because nowadays you're gonna find these kits on eBay and all that stuff for outrageous amounts of money. People are asking just way too much for these kits because you just can't get them. So it's almost like you got gold, but at the end of the day, it's still just a box of wood at the moment. So we got all the ports. Uh, this still has the hardware pack. That is awesome. All right. Awesome stuff. Now, this engine mount, I'll probably be using the engine mount that comes with the uh, Sato FG21, uh, the aluminum uh, engine mount. So, and I don't know, I might, uh, I might vacuum form some exhaust stacks and stuff like that to make it more scale looking uh, or may not I don't know we'll see when we get to that stage but right here's the uh, cowling um, I know a lot of these guys a lot of you guys out there basically say oh throw those cowlings away throw those plastic parts away go to fiberglass specialties uh, and all that stuff and pick yourself up a fiberglass cowl blah 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 because the plastic ones suck you know what let me tell you, I've been doing this for 40 years, and uh, a lot of my plastic cowling are still in tip-top shape. I would crash the plane before them, the, those cowlings ever deteriorate, in other words. And uh, yeah, I have no problems of any of these plastic parts. If you know how to prep them right, you know, and don't overstress the uh, screw mounts uh, you will never have any issues all right now fiberglass is cool yeah, fiberglass is always good to have it's just it's not needed really to be honest yeah still gonna have people out there say otherwise but you know what this is my kit I'm the one's gonna build it I am the owner so uh, you know what when it's all said and done, you won't even know the difference. Just like my top flight Cessna 182, I had people swear up and down, go get yourself a fiberglass cowl for that aircraft. You know what? It's been over a year. And my top flight Cessna 182 is still up there and it's still in pristine condition with the cowling and all that other stuff. So it is what it is now see this is where we're gonna get into the uh, try to put everything back in here so that's the reason why I don't want to start pulling everything out because to be honest <laughs> it's always been a pain in the rear to put all these things back in here so we've got some uh, decal sheets down here awesome all right so we got the plans road plans and everything so yeah 
Alright. I mean, it's not much of an unboxing if you, you know, I mean, just open up the box and see this and call it done. Alright. There's not much to really pull out and stuff uh, until it's time to actually do the build. And this build will start here shortly. I've been really looking forward to this. I have other air, uh, kits that I would love to build right now. Right here, the Great Plains uh, Ultra Sport 1000. That was the kit that was supposed to be built here short. Uh, within. That was the kit that was supposed to be showcased, as you could see on my pegboard thing. All right. So, unfortunately, I am going to postpone that one, and I'm going to build the P40. That is what what's going to happen. I mean, to be honest as well, I really was supposed to be building the um, top flight DC3. That was the one that was supposed to trump all the builds. But you know, this one, I, I just got to build this one right now. All right. So, yep, that is it, guys. That is the uh, Top Flight P40 Warhawk. All right. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. So, yep. That is it. That is the unboxing of the Top Flight P40E Warhawk kit. 64 inch wingspan. Which is awesome. All right. I am looking forward to do, doing this build. Looking forward to doing the um, build series on this. Uh, for those of you who also own this kit and just waiting for that day to actually start the build, hopefully I do justice and hopefully uh, I make it look fun for everybody else to follow along and uh, yeah so uh, with that said I am still in awe I, I, I'm still speechless uh, once again thank you Frank all right thank you for uh, doing this and sending this kit all the way out to me for me to also enjoy and build all right so uh, yeah this is awesome so you guys, I will see you in the next video. Hopefully that video would be the beginning of episode one. All right. Of this build. You guys have a good one. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. From Leona's RC World. Shoo shoo.